Welcome to a real life English conversation. I am Camille. I'm Calvin. And today we're going to be talking about childhood memories in, I think, sea level English. This is like native. Native English. Let's do it. Are you ready? <laughs> What comes to mind when I ask you, tell me a childhood memory? Uh, I have many childhood memories. I think travel memories are the ones that stick out the most to me. Traveling around Eastern Oregon in a camper with uh, my dad and mom and sister were some of the coolest memories. Uh, also traveling with them to Mexico or Florida. What about you? Hey, I did a Florida trip with my family too. Wow, maybe we met back in the day. We didn't even know it. <laughs> you never know. Were you at Disneyland? No, my dad wouldn't let me. Oh. So we went to Epcot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why wouldn't he let you go to Disney World? I don't know. He probably didn't want to wait in the lines, which That's true. I have the same quip. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, my fondest memories are camping in the summer with my family. We would bring, we had a camper, but we didn't all fit in the camper because we were seven people. So my dad would always pack one or two tents and set up the tents outside the camper. We would sleep in the tents, my dad and mom, and at least one or two of my sisters would sleep in the camper. We would have bonfires mostly every night, roast marshmallows, roast hot dogs, and it usually would be at a lake. So my dad also had a boat, so he would take us behind an inner tube we would go like yeah round and round in round, the boat <laughs> round and until round. you fell off yes yeah he would probably do circles and then make the big waves and then go, Plah, flying my dad would water ski behind the boat but i was always too scared to learn so mm. i would just sit in the inner tube and do that <laughs> that reminds me uh, we actually had a cabin by a lake also and we would do the inner tube thing too. Yeah. So, so many parallels in our life. <laughs> yeah. I also have a ton of winter memories, winter sports, sledding, skiing, snowmobiling, skating, did them all. Were they a lot of fun? Apparently? Yes. Yes. I mean, now I would go back and I don't know, like as an adult, I've gone skiing, but I'm like, would I do it as much? Like my dad would take us many times a week. We would be out there doing these winter sports. Yeah. That, they are fun. I've done yeah. them also with your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I have a memory of Calvin falling down in the cross-country skis in the hill and us all laughing. Okay, okay. We're talking about childhood memories. <laughs> you weren't a child. <laughs> okay, sidetrack. Back to the real script. Actually, yeah. we don't have a script. Um, what else? I think, you know, my trip to Mexico was very impacting because it was a different culture. Uh, even though it was, you know, a touristy area of Mexico, Cabo San Lucas. But just to see, oh, these people live in a whole different way. They, they speak a different language. Their food is all different. Uh, I got sick off of guacamole, guacamole uh, you know, and things like that. You get to experience a whole new culture, and it's really impacting. And maybe that's why it opened up this world of travel to, to me as I grew older. Mm. Did you like eat a bad avocado or something? No, I just ate too much guacamole. <laughs> it was so tasty. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh. And I just remember on the beach, they would serve these mangoes. I'm sure they still do it. They cut it up for you on a stick and then they squirt lime over it. And it was like heaven. It was so tasty. Nice. Yeah. Mexico has some good food. Yes. I have a lot of memories centered around Christmas because Christmas was such a big part of our family's lives. A lot of traditions, opening presents, decorating the tree, uh, stockings, Christmas baking, all of that stuff too. Yeah, that's always a good... Holidays are always a good memory-making time of childhood. I also have a lot of memories from gardening because we would have a huge garden so many vegetables I would have to water it pick weeds all of those things all the fun stuff my mom would can vegetables so that we'd have enough for the winter and so yeah a lot of food you guys were outdoors a lot then yes I feel like I mean we didn't even have a tv in my home until I was 12 and then I think dial-up internet came when I was 16 So really very little access to screens, which probably affected my upbringing a lot. Yeah, screens didn't exist. So that yeah. besides like a TV, but 
Yeah. You didn't have a TV for a long time. Until I was 12. So, yeah. I had a Nintendo. I played a lot. That was a lot of memories of playing Super Mario Brothers or Mega Man on a Sega Genesis, things like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I also spent a lot of time outside. We had a little bit of land. I remember always uh, jumping off of my sister's doll, not dollhouse, but playhouse. It was like, you know, a mini house. And I would go up to the top roof and below is like these wood chips. And so I would just like jump off and land on these softer wood chips. But wow. yeah, I'm surprised I didn't get hurt. But uh, maybe I just wanted to fly, I wanted to travel again. It's just this theme <laughs> in my life. <laughs> oh, I have some memories too, playing with my sisters, building forts. We would play school. So someone would be the teacher and the others would be the students. We would play moms. Like I remember... I remember like um, nursing our babies under our shirts and like using crayons as cigarettes. I've never <laughs> smoked in my life. I don't know where we even Your parents got that. don't smoke. My dad used to smoke until he was 30 and then oh. he quit. But anyways, that's a memory. And uh, store. So we would go and like collect things around the house that we would then buy at the store and we would just play for hours. Yeah, that's true. I think we played store. We played uh, schoolhouse. You know, one of us would be a teacher and then the others would be students. And yeah, those are fun memories. I also remember breaking my arm twice. I was 13 and then I was 14. The first time was rollerblading. The break was really bad. Both of the bones broke in this arm. I remember my arm like kind of hanging and <sighs> my dad and mom were like, yeah, we need to go to the doctors now. <laughs> and then the next year playing basketball, I broke my wrist and I remember being in so much pain and my dad was like, oh, you're tough. You'll be fine. But the pain wouldn't go away. So finally my mom was like, okay, I'm just going to bring her to the doctors. Sure enough, I had to get a cast on it. Dad. <laughs> I know, dad. <laughs> but healed up. Hopefully I won't have another broken bone. Quite the memory. I know. And we try to keep Camille safe now. So. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully she gets less broken bones. <laughs> and our kids got rollerblades and we have like all the gear. They have yeah, the wrist guards, everything. Yeah, like elbow guards, mm -hmm. knee pads, helmets. Like they are head to toe protected. Yeah, that is one of my memories. Is, and that's why I got my kids rollerblades was rollerblading up and down our driveway with my sister. And yeah, we also had all the gear because my mom was... Uh, Afraid of getting the broken bones, which for good reason. I don't think I had the gear. That's why I broke my arm. I didn't have any gear. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get the gear if you're Oops. getting rollerblades. Yeah. But it's a lot of fun being outside and cruising yeah. around. Mm -hmm. It was fun. It was fun to reminisce and think about childhood with you, Calvin. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Yeah. yeah. What about you? What is your most vivid childhood memory? Let us know down below in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.